Hi everyone and welcome to Taste Test with Mike. Today I'm going to be trying this Lando Frost Bistro Favorites Cajun style turkey breast. It looks, I mean, looks like deli meat. It really does. And uh, I got this at Grocery Outlet. However, um, you know, Lando Frost is a big name. I'd say most stores carry, carry, you know, maybe not an extensive line of it, but I guarantee you, you'll probably find it in most stores in their lunch meat area. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to find it at maybe Walmart or your favorite uh, grocery store. So yeah, this is something new. So I thought I would make a sandwich with it and uh, see what it was like. So I got some, put my, I'll put this down here where we can see. I'm gonna make a sandwich here. And I need one other thing. I need some. I had everything. Okay, we've got the mayonnaise here. A little bit of that. Okay. Got some mustard. some of the lunch meat on here. Oh, I know what I'm f not, uh, forgetting to go over the nutrition facts. Hold on. Let me let me do that real quick before I finish the sandwich. Get my ducks in a row, so to speak. Okay. Nutrition facts. If you have five slices, and that would be a pretty good amount, five slices. Uh, it would be 70 calories total fat two and a half grams three percent saturated fat a half a gram that's three percent no trans fat 20 milligrams of cholesterol seven percent 550 milligrams or 560 milligrams of sodium is 24 percent um, like I said that's in everything it's kind of hard to get away from it uh, only three grams of carbs, that's only 1%. No fiber, no sh uh, one gram of sugar, and one gram of added sugars, just 2%. Nine grams of protein, that's really good. Um, iron, 6%. And that's it. That's, that's it. Eat. <laughs> I just wanted to say eat instead of it. <laughs> And the ingredients are, they look pretty good. I mean, turkey breast, water, white turkey, salt. What's the difference between turkey breast and white turkey? I guess that's some of the meat that's around the breast that's white. I don't know. Um, like a wing is white meat. Less than 2% of potato starch, sugar, vinegar, cultured celery, juice powder, flavorings. What's flavorings? Cherry powder, cherry powder, rice hulls. Yeast extract. I wonder what they did with them rice holes. Uh, holes. <laughs> okay. So, Land of Frost is in uh, out of Illinois. And I was trying to see if they had. There's a. There's now. Here's what you would do if you wanted to write to them. The, there's their website right there. If you wanted to get, get, make a request, maybe for some coupons. That's how I do it. I just look on the product and it says landoffrost.com slash bistro favorites. And, and then I'll just go and, you know, go to it. Okay, let's get back to the making of the sandwich. These glasses are. Let's see.
I'm trying to see how thick the slices are. Well, that's they're pretty thin. There's one. I'm trying to do the serving size. Very thin. Which I like it thin like that though. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's the serving size. It's only 70 calories. And it's got this, it seals back. I always make sure I go around the edge because like if it's sticking up a little bit over here, air will still get in it and stuff, you know, and uh, could dry it out or something. Okay, now I've got some Happy Farms by Aldi, Colby Jack. It's Deli Slice Colby and Monterey Jack. Got some of that. And they got great prices on their cheese like this at, at Aldi. So we're going to put that right there. And like I said, I'll seal it, make sure I go around it. And, you know, just to give you more a uh, closer idea of what the sandwich uh, we'll have uh, uh, for one slice is 70 calories so that'd be about 140 calories plus what the, the condiments calories from them maybe I don't know how many more calories it wouldn't be that much more the, I'd say this is probably no calories no calories on the mustard no fat only 3% of sodium that's in one t one teaspoon that's about what I use Anyway, this has uh, 6 grams of total fat is 8%. Saturated fat, 3.5 grams, 18%. Cholesterol, 6%. I'll just do it that way. 5% sodium, no carbs, no fiber, no sugar. 5 grams more protein. What did I say for the protein on this? 9. So you got 9... And five, you got 14 grams of protein in this sandwich. 10% uh, of calcium, and that's it. And there's very little ingredients in this here, in this cheese. I like that. Okay, and I've got some tomato. That was, we had a little bit left over from the last tomato we used. I think it was at breakfast yesterday or something. So I thought I would put some tomato on it. So, now I'm going to put just a little bit of pepper. I don't think it, it shouldn't need any salt. Just put a little bit of pepper there. Okay, which way do I have them tomatoes to cut it? Like this. Perfect. Okay. Looks really good. There, probably could have some chips with it or something like that. I don't have any in here, but I'm I'm just doing this taste test on this. So, but you know, I'll probably get some uh, uh, baked some of our baked chips. The the plain. That's what's what we've got open in there. Um, well, just for effect, I'll go get some. Hold on. Okay, I've got some uh, Clancy's Baked Original. 80% less fat. Who knows that? Yeah, I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to get kind of broke up. And these... 
have 120 calories and 13 of them. I got about six or seven there. Um, only two grams of fat is 3%, no saturated, no cholesterol, 7% sodium, 8% of carbs, 4% of fiber, 2% of sugar, 4% of calcium, 6% of potassium. So, just to give you an idea of what, what that added to it, and I've only got, like, you, like I'll show you, I've only got like a few of them. Um, I like the other ones that they had, like the sour cream and onion and the Southwest Ranch one they had that you can't find now anymore. I did like them the best. Um, but I'll eat these and the barbecue ones, I just wish the barbecue ones had more barbecue flavor. So, that's what it looks like. Hmm. Mm. It's not hot. I was wondering would it be would it be spicy? But it's not it's not hot. It's got good flavor. Nice crunchy noises. Little bit of ASMR. It is really very good, y'all. <clears throat> I think we pay a dollar ninety nine for it at grocery outlet, but it would be more elsewhere, probably. Okay. All right, I enjoy this very much. Um, it, it's not that bad for you. I mean, it's really not at all bad for you, the, the lunch meat or anything. Um, I was just trying to give you a total picture of how about how many calories and things you would have. You know, I used about half the amount of chips, so that might be 60 more. So you're probably looking at, what I say, 77, probably a couple hundred. 200 calories if you ate all this. I'm just guessing. Because uh, it says 70 and 70. And then that would be half, about half. So 60 more, 200 calories. Um, I need to start kind of figuring that out on some meals um, so we can maybe find ways to, to lower the calories or, you know, uh, just trying to eat healthier in general and uh, turkey and also ham I believe is pretty much fat free uh, I don't know if all of it is but um, most of the ones I've got have been fat free as well so um, I, I definitely give this a five out of five um, it's not spicy but it's got good flavor and uh, I like the way it's it's like real thin you know like chipped almost it's so thin um i like thin lunch meat like that and uh anyway i i uh, highly recommend it uh check it out if you can find it at your grocery store you might want to try it out i don't notice anything like i said spicy when you think of cajun you know i think it might be spicy sometimes but uh, it's really not so anyway 
Uh, five out of five, everybody. Good, good light lunch. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed this taste test with Mike. And if you did, I hope you'll press the like button. That helps my channel very much. And also subscribe if you haven't already. That helps a lot. And uh, share this out. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day. And we'll see you later on. God bless.